So a major part to branding yourself is being able to control the narrative behind your name, being able to control the story because uh, there's a lot of noise out there on the internet about everybody. And as an athlete, especially, you know, you have reporters uh, commentating on you and all of this information about, you know, who you are as if they know you and as if they have the full story behind you, but they don't, but yet they're speaking about you on, and on your behalf in the media and articles on videos and uh, in interviews. So if you're going to be a name brand athlete, you want to be able to control the narrative behind your name and behind your story because nobody knows your story better than you and you can tell your story the best and you want to be able to control your story you want to be able to control what's being said about you and uh, the message that's being communicated about you so i'm instructing you guys to buy your domain name and what i mean by buying your domain name is buy the name to your website which should be your name so it's easy to find you so www.johnsmith.com you want to buy that so that you're the owner of that and you can have people easily find you as you put out your message as you put out your content to let people know more about you and to know your story uh, so they can come into greater uh, contact with you and be more familiar with who you are and that's that beginning point for establishing a relationship you know with uh with 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 businesses and those opportunities to gain endorsements and, and to have your name image and, and likeness uh be licensed so having control of your domain name will just get people that easy way of finding you. When they go into a Google search engine, they'll be able to just put in your name and you'll have your website search engine optimized so that you pop up, your website pops up. And when your website pops up, they can go there and find out more about you. This is something that I wish that I had done because when I played for the Chargers, I, uh, I did not take advantage of that. And uh, there was a, you know, I had just signed with them and, you know, the new kid in town, but my performance wasn't where it wanted, where it needed to be for the team. And so because of that, you know, the media harped on me hard and, you know, they had their comments about, hey, what's going on? Uh, probably comments about me being a bust and, I would have liked to have controlled that narrative, you know, to, to been able to say my side of the story. And that side of the story, you know, is yet to be told because I didn't take the time and didn't know like how serious it is to control the narrative and to talk about my brand and to tell my side of the story. You know, we're, we're walking into a day and age now where you athletes, you're a business. And you're a media center as well. People come to you for the news. They come to you to know more about the team that they're supporting that you're on. And if you're in one of these big markets like LA and you play for the Bruins or you play for the Trojans, people want to know like that insider perspective of what's going on. And as an athlete, you got a tremendous opportunity to be the one to let the let the let the public know what's going on and how the team is performing and how the team is training and, and getting ready for the season and during the week how the team is getting ready for uh, each opponent that it's about to face. You know that's entertaining. That is that is news. That is stuff that they can't get from the media, but they can get it firsthand from you as a player. And those players that take advantage of you know, this opportunity and this chance to, to really set themselves apart uh, by branding themselves, they're the ones that serve to gain the most out of the new NCAA rules with the name, image, and likeness. And so that's why I talk about having your 
website and having the ownership of your domain name. You want to buy the domain name, and it's 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 fairly uh, it's fairly cheap, guys. It's not it's not extremely uh, costly for you to do. This can be done. You can buy and hold the domain name for as much as twenty dollars a year, and if you increase that price you know if you want to buy it and hold it for 10 years uh and, and just not use it like if you're a high school player and you're like hey it's a long time before i i think i'm gonna really use it you know you can buy it for 10 years and hold it for i think it's like as low as 14 um 14 bucks maybe even lower i think actually it's 12 12.95 that you can do that so uh it's an opportunity to you know grab hold of your name so nobody else can and, and you can be the first one on it uh, so that you can tell that story because what you want to avoid is what can happen and you know as, as, as athletes begin to brand themselves and their names become popular you know what you're going to see is those people that are like name investors where they buy domain names and they hold them till somebody wants it and they crank up the price on it and then they sell it to the person so that they can make a profit. They can make, they can make you know, significant gains off of it. So uh, you wanna be on the front end of buying your domain name so that you can hold on to it. And, and don't just buy the .com. You, know, you wanna be able to buy the .net and the .org. And I recommend getting the .com first because the .com is the most recognizable uh, website address. If the .com isn't available, then go for the .org next. And if the .org is not available, go for the .net. But above all, you want to go, I would say, .com or .org. You know, I did DerekCox.org um, because .com was taken. But if .com is taken, .org is taken, I would say maybe add something to your name to to help make it uh, stand out. Maybe you do like uh, johnsmithofficial.com or John Smith, or excuse me, officialjohnsmith.com so that you can have that .com and uh, really have your name brand be recognizable and easy to find online. So uh, that'd be my advice as, as, as guys look at building their brand and understanding the significance behind it because you can control the narrative and you can be that media center and that business that you are so that people can come and find you and know what's going on. Uh, and, and you know, when you have a website, that's also gonna add a layer of professionalism to you that other players won't have. And it'll make you stand out in the marketplace because people will see that this guy is serious about his brand and marketing himself and that is an indicator of someone that's good to do business with because you take it seriously. There's a level of professionalism that you're exhibiting. And as a result, it makes sense to do business with you because that's that's almost like a filter for saying, we won't have to deal with any nonsense with this player because look at the professionalism that they're exhibiting by having their own website. They also have an Instagram. They also have a Facebook account. They also have a Twitter account. So these are just layers and layers that you want to add on to building your brand because if I go search for a brand, if I go online to search for a product that somebody has told me about, if I don't see a website, I have less trust for that brand. If they could have an Instagram and they have a Facebook page, but if they don't have a website, I'm, I'm less likely to do business with that brand because you know that website adds a layer of legitimacy, a layer of authenticity and and I'm willing to trust that brand. So as a player, as an athlete, you can do that as well by making yourself stand out amongst the crowd by having your domain name so that your website is easily found online and, and you've got told the story, your story, uh, from your point of view and perspective so people know the narrative behind you as a brand and they begin to trust you you begin to establish that relationship with these brands and then they say hey we want to do business with this athlete so that we can use his name image and likeness you know, for endorsements and licensing so that's my advice guys hope you enjoy 
look forward to you letting me know how it goes. Do it on your website, which is fairly easy and user-friendly. Uh, cleaning places you can do it. GoDaddy.com, Weebly, Wix, just to name a few. And get things moving, guys. Become that name brand athlete.